Hello, my loves. It's great to be here with you again. And today is our part two of yesterday's video, daily habits that promote your daily rejuvenation. So instead of every day growing older, we're going to every day grow younger and feel better in our bodies and about ourselves. If you're going to develop these habits to the point that they are coming to you on autopilot and you're going to do it every single day, you're going to have great benefit out of them. So you had them yesterday. That, that video is going to be linked underneath this one. And today's video is going to start right now. So if you guys are interested in this subject, please stick with me till the end because you're going to be learning a lot. <music> So next daily habit that I would love for you guys to develop every single day when you get up, when you wake up in the morning, stretch your body. What does it do? It activates fascia right away and fascia goes to work right away for you. Fascia is a main player in your uh, rejuvenated look and in your in the youth of your body. So when this fascia is not activated, a fascia becomes loose and the face becomes droopy, body becomes droopy. So first thing you need to do, you need to make sure that your fascia is actually working for you. And the best best in the world way to do it is to stretch in bed while you're in horizontal position, allow the blood circulation, microcirculation, oxygen hits your muscles right away and you put your fascia to work. So that habit to develop, guys, it's going to make you feel so good and it's going to keep your body, actually, your whole body, actually, and your face tight over the course of the years. The second habit, if times allow, I would love you to do the uh, exercise from my week one, day one, and I will put that, the whole regimen underneath this video. Again, it has a folder. So day one, week one is a phenomenal way to start your day. And actually activation of the fascia and this video together is gonna take you no more than three minutes once you learn how to do it. And it's gonna promote from the beginning your daily rejuvenation. The next habit that I want to talk about is massage your face when you are washing your face. So you went to the bathroom now and you are about to take a shower. Make sure when you wash your face, you massage your face. You have so many massage videos on my channel that you watch right now. However, I want to tell you very quickly that you cannot go wrong if you do it in this manner. The chest goes sideways, upper ways goes the neck try not to touch your thyroid because that could create issues i will tell you but it's a disclaimer i do it i like to stimulate my thyroid a little bit however there's some people out there with overactive thyroid talk to your doctor disclaimer talk to your doctor and ask your doctor if you can do it or not i always give myself a little bit of stimulation of thyroid because i i feel that it's kind of good for me then face goes from the center side and upwards so this way this way it doesn't matter as long as you're gonna bring your muscles from the center to the side and upwards you're doing it right the um the bone of the forehead Put the knuckles on and with a circle motion go both ways and that's while you're washing your face so what you do you relaxing your muscles and unknowingly you stimulate not strong but very little bit of a lymphatic drainage especially if you have a skinny face and you don't do a lot of deliberate lymphatic drainage this is a very good idea to do it to elongate your muscles and to keep your face nice and tight. The next habit is extremely important and I would love for you guys to develop it, is not to sweat the small stuff. Uh, every time you're under stress, you contract your fascia, you contract your muscles. It's really, really bad for you. It makes you older. So it, your body responds to emotional stress. We know that already. This is a known fact for us, yet we never pay attention. We're just going to stress as if it was something good without analyzing and thinking, what am I going to get from this reaction to this person who means nothing to me? So if somebody is rude to you and if somebody is not nice to you, what you absolutely must to do is you have to ask your question yourself. Does it worth my growing older over this subject matter? 
does this word my being older over this because very quickly i'm not going to go into like deep science but i've been studying that however i'm not a scientist i've been studying as an amateur telomeres telomeres are x chromosomes they have like a shoelaces in the end of them and as the shoelaces get shorter uh, we get older basically we age so the faster the telomeres get shorter, the shoelaces, the end of the telomeres, the quicker we age. So every time you're under stress, you shorten the telomeres. So imagine that your youth, your longevity, your feeling good to yourself depends on this X chromosome that has the shoelace and your, your beings, your physical beings, longevity and youth depends on the length of the shoelace. And the fastest way to shorten the shoelace, which is the shorter the shoelace end, the shorter is your life, the shorter is your use. So every time you're under stress, every time you respond to the stressful situation, because just because you are presented with a stressful situation, it doesn't mean that you're going to respond to it and shorten your telomere. So every time you respond to the stressful situation and you put yourself under stress, you shorten your telomeres, you become older. Always ask yourself the question, does this work? Does this situation in traffic, does rude person on the street, uh, does rude person in a store worth me shortening my telomeres? And if it's worth it, then go ahead and do it. But I don't think many things worth for you to grow older. So try to manage your stress and uh, just just don't sweat the little stuff. Like if I could if I could teach one thing to all my loved ones, and I wish somebody taught this to me, is Please, please don't sweat the little stuff. It gives you such a damage, emotional, psychological, physical, rejuvenation, but however we pay attention to everything. So try to become invincible. Put yourself in a white kind of like a layer of clothes through which people are not gonna be able to penetrate you because you're gonna grow older if you're gonna be responsive emotionally. And this is extremely emotional person talking who used to say, well, I'm emotional, there is nothing I can do about it. Well, I can grow older about it. I chose my battles. I chose me over the situation. And if the situation doesn't really call for the stress, I'll try not to stress over it. The next thing that I would love for you to do it, I will feel so good if you're gonna do it. I need you to go to the mirror every single day and praise yourself for something, for whatever you want, for your beautiful skin, for your beautiful hair, for your beautiful personality, for the kindness of your heart, for the flowers you can raise, for the meal you made, whatever you want, whatever you want, but give yourself credit every single day. Say, wow, I did great. Why Beauty Channel talks about it? Because this is promotes the growth of your telomeres. As bad emotion cut down, good emotions, good uh, sleep, healthy lifestyle, healthy food, physical activity, moderate, promotes elongation of your telomeres or they don't grow short as quickly. So every time you give yourself a good emotion, I would love for you to sit down for three minutes a day and think about everything that makes you feel good. And for different people, it's a different thing. You know, for somebody, I don't know, there's, there's going to be food that makes you feel good or the movie that makes you feel good and the person that makes you feel good. For me, it's achievement. I'm very, my entity is very work related for me. So when I know that I did something really great, great um, at work it makes me feel so good and um, I think about it I think about it you sit down and think about things that you have done well and praise yourself on it and give yourself a credit for it just just have the delicious moment with yourself if you can make it a daily habit I promise you you're gonna start rejuvenation process beyond of any of your imagination. I was trying to make this video short for you and uh, please pay attention to what I say. And for some of you, this is, you know, if you told me this 20 years ago, I would think the girl is crazy. Like, what do you mean don't respond to stressful situations? What do you mean, uh, you know, praise myself? But give it a thought. Even if this idea is foreign to you, please give it a thought because I have tried for you to, I believe in it. I believe in it. Give me a chance to transfer my beliefs to you. I believe that women that praise themselves and that give themselves credit and who sit down and think about pleasant things and who don't allow, who respect and love themselves enough not to allow small things to stress them out, 
I believe those women can rejuvenate faster with my system than people who would do just exercises, just the stretches, just the plumping and don't do emotional work. Emotions are written all over our faces and they make us either younger or older. So just give it a thought, think about it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Tomorrow, very important video comes out tomorrow is Saturday. And tomorrow we're gonna to be talking about subjects that people really don't talk about. I decided to at least once and again, break the subject that is dear to my heart and to I think a lot of women out there, but somehow nobody wants to open that Pandora box and talk about it. And I think for you guys to hear that somebody goes through the same things that you go and she talks about it openly although it triggers a little of her insecurities and you know unpleasantness it's very important i think for people to see that people relate to them and tomorrow is the video i would love for you to watch that you're going to be talking about things that most people don't talk about and today you have two videos about daily habits you can implement them all together they don't take time all that much of time or you can do them slowly but as you're gonna bring them into your life, as they're gonna go on autopilot for you, your rejuvenation is really gonna kick in by far faster. You're gonna go into rejuvenation in a turbo mode. So as always, I wanna thank you so much for your time, for your attention. As I told you, give me a thumbs up. If you like it, please share this video if you think it has value for your loved ones and people who surround you. And I'll see you all tomorrow in the next video.